Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Lee Code called Ransom Note. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. Given two strings, Ransom Note and Magazine, return true if Ransom Note can be constructed by using the letters from Magazine and false otherwise. Each letter in Magazine can only be used once in Ransom Note. So here we have Ransom Note of letter A and Magazine with just B. It's going to be false because we can't use the letters in Magazine to make Ransom Note. Example two, Magazine has AB and Ransom Note has AA. So here it's going to be false. We have one A that's going to be used for one A here, but we don't have another a to construct this ransom note fully and example three we have a a as a ransom note a a b as a magazine and ransom note has two a's so both of these a's are present in magazine so we're going to output true and magazine even has some extra letters that we don't really make use of so they're not going to be important okay say we had the following example magazine was a a b and ransom note was a a this is the same one as example three how do we want to do this what we want to do is go through all the letters in magazine and keep counts of everything we've seen. So we come across an A first, we're going to say that we have one A so far. Now we go on to the next letter, it's another A, we increase this count to two, and our final letter, we have a B, so now we have a count of one. Now once we're done with magazine, we want to go through all the letters in ransom note. So the first thing we come across is one A. Now we see that the count of A was two, so we're going to decrease this count by one, and this means that we still have one A and one B to use for the remaining letters to form ransom note. So going on to our next letter, we have another A, so we're going to bump this down to zero, and since we're done with ransom note, we're going to output true. Now, if we had another A, because this was zero, we wouldn't be able to make all the ransom note. And say we even had another character that wasn't even in our counts for letters. Say we had C. In both scenarios, if the letter is zero or if the letter doesn't even exist in our counts, we would output false. So let's go ahead and code this up and then run through an example. Okay, to code this up, the first thing I'm going to do is initialize a dictionary to keep track of the letters we see and the course counts. So I'm going to initialize a default dictionary and I'm going to be passing an integer and I want to actually import this from collection. So from collections, import default. And now that this is initialized, we want to loop through every single character in magazine. So for character in magazine, D of character plus equals one. And because this is a default dictionary, we don't need to check if character exists in a dictionary, if not add it in and then assign a value to it. This by default just has zero values for all the keys. So we can just go ahead and add plus one for every single character that we come across. So now that we have a dictionary of letters and counts, we want to go through all the characters in ransom note. So for character in ransom note. So for every single character in ransom note, we want that character to be in the dictionary already and have a count greater than zero. If neither are true, we would return false. We can't make ransom note from all the letters in magazine. So if character not in D or D of character is equal to zero, so less than equal to or equal to will be the same thing, equal to zero, we want to return false. If that's not the case, that means the character is in D and has a value greater than zero, we want to subtract one from that value. So D of character minus equals one. And once we're able to go through every single character in ransom note without returning false, that means we had all the letters we needed in magazine. So this means we would now return true. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now before leaving, let's just run through a super quick example. Now for example, say our ransom note is AAC and magazine is AAB. Let's just go through this line by line to see exactly how our code is working. So first thing we do is initialize a dictionary. So this is going to be our default dictionary. Now we loop through every single character in magazine. So we start off with character A. So we're going to start off with A and increase its character count in dictionary by one. So at A, we now have one. So now we go back in this for loop and we move character down. So now we're at A again, we increase count by one. So A is now two and last character it's B. So now we add B here and have value one. Now we're going to loop through every single character in ransom note. So we start off with A over here. So we want to make a check if character is not in the dictionary. That's not true. It is there. And if the value of that character is less than equal to zero, that's not true. The value is two. So we don't return false. All we do is decrease the count at that character. So A is now going to go to one and we go back in the for loop, move this down. Again, this is not true. So we don't return false. We decrease the count by one. So now it's at zero and go back in the for loop to be at C. Now we make a check. Character is not in dictionary. This is true, right? C is not in here. So we don't even need to check this or condition. We just return a false right away. Using the words in magazine, we can't form this ransom note. So talking about space and time complexity, if we have n characters in magazine and m in ransom note, since we're iterating through every single character, that is going to be O of n plus m for time. And for space, our constraints actually had said that we're only dealing with lowercase letters in magazine. So we know we're only going to have 26 letters, right? So we just increase the count for 26 variables, basically. So this is going to be constant O of 1 for space. It's not dependent on how big our magazine gets. We're still taking the same amount of space. So our space is O of 1 
and our time is going to be o of n plus m. And we just went ahead and solved a ransom note. If you have any questions, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.